Hello, hello, hello everyone. Good morning. In Netherlands is uh, it is morning about uh, nine o'clock and I um, like to thank you so so much for the 2k the 2000 um, views that I have on my pearl pour. Uh, I will show you uh, the one that I need. This one has a lot of viewers and I'm very thankful that you are all watching that video. I hope uh, you watch all my videos and if you do, and if you do a, a few or one, uh, I'm very grateful that you do because I want to let my channel grow. One thing, uh, so thank you for that. <laughs> Uh, one thing I want to mention is the video that I did, the pearl um, pour with the racket, I think uh, you got rack pour, that is this one. I don't know what happened, but my camera stopped filming and uh, I want to show you a little bit of the effect that I have. It is not quite dry yet. You can see the shimmer and the colors. Oh my God, this is really nice. So I will definitely show you the dry result of this one. And um, another thing I want to show you, I have to get it because I cannot hold every piece on my table, but um, do you remember that I did this pour from the 2010K, uh, 2000 viewers, sorry. And uh, I noticed that the colors were like wispy. And at that time I thought it was um, the amount of water that I uh, put in. So I put a little bit of frotol, flutrol and just put it in my colors. Uh, but uh, it wasn't the water, no, it, it was the gek gag. No, not gag, but I will show the bottle. We call it Gak 800 from Golden. That's um, something you do in the white, but not in the colors. So that was something I just did, I don't know why. Meta pours didn't do it in it. So again, did I listen? No, I have to listen more carefully. So I will make a painting. And this is a test piece that I made with the paint that was a little bit thicker. The effect uh, here is very good. The cells of the white are perfect, but the wispiness of the orange and the purple are still in it. So that's the reason why I thought, well, is it not the, and I saw the video of the mixing uh, from Meta again. Thank you, Meta, for the tutorial that you have shared with uh, all of us. Thank you so much. Um, so next time it will be a video that I make for um, also the pearl pour because I want to get the recipe right. But I have to finish all those jars. And the effect is nice. So I will make a painting on a used canvas that I will uh, put, of course, the white on the base. But then all the colors that I have, and that's a lot, um, on that canvas because I want to get a new fresh start and I don't want to throw them away. So it, it's going to be a big uh, canvas uh, because I want to get rid of all the colors or maybe I should do uh, two canvases. I don't know because it is a lot of paint that I use then. Uh, I don't want to uh, spill the paint. I want to make sure that I can make really nice paintings because you invest in your um, your uh, material. So I want to make it right. 
but we get back to business for today. Uh, today I want to make a, 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 how do you call it, a straight pour. And I have mixed up a couple of colors. The first, the Quinacridone Magenta. And I put a little bit of dioxazine purple in it. This is Electric Blue from Atesa. This one is Irresistant Silver from Atesa. And I have to shake them. I made it up yesterday, but yeah, the, um, the bubbles will come back and I have to torch it again, but that's no problem. Uh, kijk, irresistant green blue, also from nee, Fabio, this one. And this one is the ring, uh, nee, sorry, copper gold. It is the full moon over here, so I'm a little bit from ah, <laughs> but that doesn't matter. I'm human, right? We all are. Um, the thing I want to do is make a little bit of a puddle pour in the middle of the white. And the consistency is a little bit thick because the consistency of the paints are also. And it has to be, otherwise the colors will be blending into each other. And that's not something I like and I want. So I hope the lightning is very good because it is a little bit cloudy uh, today. Um, so I have an extra lamp, lamp for you. I hope you can see it. Let's get started. It is very early. It is a Friday over here. So I hope you have an amazing day today. I am painting and I have made some molds for the first time. I will share them with you. My inspiration is uh, Julie Cuts pouring your heart out uh, on YouTube and also on Facebook. So thank you so much for all your videos, uh, Julie. Uh, I know you don't know me, but I say hi. Hi, Julie. You are an amazing artist and... I love to watch every morning your videos because you have so many ideas and you do it, uh, you make your painting uh, a few years ago beautiful and now everything that you make with the resin, oh my God, that is really beautiful. So thank you for the inspiration, Julie. Um, you are my inspiration and I think uh, for a lot of others too. So thank you, uh, Julie. I will put the link of her channel down below. I, I know you, I think you already know her, but I want to do it because she is, she is a, a great artist. I put all the lids off. And I will show you what I'm going to do with the edges because I like to have some effect from the pearl pour. Get the lids off and it's it's not uh, a lot of colors but i can put some uh, white in this in the in the in the cup but i'm not sure i am not sure if i want to have white because i already have the silver and that also white but let's begin with a little bit of irresistant green blue that is one of my favorite colors not too much. And I think then I have to like to have some magenta with the oxygen purple. And then the copper. Then the silver, no, no, the blue. Then the silver. I hope they are thick enough. I think it's a little bit on a thin side, but now I will change the order of my first layers. I thought I make them thick enough, but we will see what results 
it's going to be. I mix up all my paint with Overthrow Flutrol because that is the our, the, that is the flute roll that we can buy in the Netherlands and um, the flood flute roll I have to buy in, um, from eBay and also the um, Australian flute roll but our throw I can buy over here let me see is that enough maybe one small layer of the colors because I like to stretch it I hope you can see what I'm doing uh, blue and top it off with the silver that's it that nothing more I can doing. I put the cup over here. I like to close my bottles because I am a person that is um, sometimes a little bit clumsy, if you call it that way. I will knock it over. So I will put the lids in first and you have a little bit of a nice view with the cup. <laughs> All right, uh, I try to be, to be as clean as I can. I didn't always do that. And the result of that is a lot of bottles for Dutch pour that are very dirty and, and not always have a name on it. So I am practicing myself to have um, nice clean bottles and um, well that's a, that is something that I have to do for myself to get a little bit more organized than I was but that's always a good thing I think all right there we go um, that is the white that I use and I'm tempted to put a little bit, I think that's thinner, so I'm not going to do that. No, Tanya, don't do it. You are tempted. I'm going to watch if you are in frame. And yes, you are. Good. Let's get started. Um, all right. Wish me luck. Cross your fingers for me. <sighs> um, yeah, there we go. The fingerlings are beautiful. Combination of color, I think, is also beautiful. And when it dry, you will see the irresistant, iridescent. <laughs> iridescent of the green and the silver and of course the copper get the drip the drip 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 it's still okay did i get it all right a little bit of a uh, thing over here Small. You can fix it. All right. And now this is um, the flood fluto with satin enamel. 
and also uh, Liquitec Basic and GAC GAC. Uh, yeah, I show the bottle from 800. I'm, I, I, I think it's very difficult to me to pronounce. GAC 800, this one. That's also in the recipe of the pearl. I will put a little bit on the edge. Some words are difficult to pronounce for me because it's not um, something that I say every day, but I will practice, practice is it. It is also a little bit early. <laughs> Nine o'clock in the morning to make a video. <laughs> but I'm doing it. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. You can see there are where the bubbles are. There's also um, cells. And the cup is beautiful. Well, I have to concentrate now. I know it is a lot of white paint on the edge, but I want to have some cells forming on the edge. And I know I have to use quite some paint because I have to tilt a lot and I hope that the cells stay in this shape because when you get cells on one side of your canvas and you have to tilt more because the center is not in the middle the way I like it, maybe the cells get wonky. But I don't want to get uh, ahead of myself so I just get started. Right. Above your direction. It is a straight pour, but I am tilting it in different kind of ways because I can loosen up the paint. And now I like to have it in the middle, so I have to do it like so. And of course you can turn because it is a round canvas, but I don't like it to have, I want it to have a nice shape in the middle, not I just follow my instincts. Go around. And you see the shape on this side of the canvas. You see? Because I turn it around. And that's a really nice effect, I think. Okay, let's go this way. The cells are really nice. I love the cells. That's a good thing. Okay, over here. And now down. You make your composition and the colors you don't like for different kind of reasons. You can always tilt off. But I like to go this way a little bit more. a lot of paint on the canvas but that's okay hold it a little bit better and i want to get rid of this part of the painting i want to keep the cells and i see they are in the purple a lot of cells, but I don't like the edge on this side. I think I am done. Wow. Look at those cells. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if the, I 
how do you call that? Uh, the pearl. Um, the pearl mix is going to get through the edge. I'm not sure because the paint on top of it is very thick. I've never tried it, but let's see what happens. Maybe it needs a little bit more time. Maybe there is too much uh, paint that possible. And maybe I don't like this. So I want to get rid of this. And that makes also the paint a little bit thinner. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's actually a nice contrast in some way because this is all the same a little bit yoohoo party time and here some serious business with the cells and the fingerlings in the middle the purple uh, this I love it I will show you from a little bit closer the fingerlings over here the cells over here and the blue cells also I am not sure if I uh, get the results that I like in the, in the edge, but I see something happening over here. But I think the, the, the paint that I put in for the ring pour was too thick for the pearl paint, the pearl uh, mixture to come through. But I'm still hoping that it will. Usually it takes a time before it can come through and sometimes you only get a little bit of white here. Look, this is what I mean. And maybe it will be okay. Uh, I will turn it your way so you can see what I am seeing. I hope you like it. And uh, it is a, a canvas from uh, 20 centimeters because I want to try it first before I'm going any larger. Um, it is a straight pour, so um, it looks like, yeah, I, I can do that on a, a square um, canvas tool. I have done it before. Um, if you have any questions about the consistency of the paint or how do I mix it or uh, whether I buy it or an anything like so, let me know in the comments. And I'd like to say something to my Dutch viewers if you don't mind. Uh, hi, goedemorgen. Het is heel vroeg in de ochtend. Uh, 9 uur, dus voor mij best wel vroeg om aan de slag te gaan. Maar ik vind het uh, leuk om eventjes wat video's te maken. Deze week is er niet echt van gekomen. Maar ik hoop dat jullie deze video mooi vinden, leuk vinden, inspirationeel vinden. En uh, look of... en kijk eens naar alle kleuren die jullie hopelijk kan zien. Hè? En, en natuurlijk als het droog is, uh, wordt het beter. Zo, so, dank jullie wel voor het kijken. Hè? Echt geweldig dat jullie allemaal kijken. Super lief. Hele fijne dag. So, I hope you enjoyed the, the, uh, the video. The fingerlings are beautiful. The cells are amazing. I think it is really nice. This is something that makes me very happy. So, I'm making two videos today because uh, yesterday and the day before, I couldn't make a lot of videos because I was always, uh, I'm all also doing a, a big project. I will show you. Um, but I have not have enough room for that now. Uh, I will make a video how I make it because I already made it. But uh, that's gonna uh, take some time because I have to write everything down and it's easier for me when I write things down. So, I hope you like this video. If you do, um, give me a thumbs up, please. And I'm um, hoping you have a, a great day, enjoying your day, loving the day, loving what you're doing. 
Um, I am doing it too. So let's make a, a beautiful day today. Uh, thank you so much. Love you all. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.